The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Everybody and welcome to the Happiness Jungle with yours truly, the Chief Happiness Officer, Lindy Eldridge. You want to talk about somebody who's going to teach you how to go out and look your best to get dressed, whether it's for your voice, whether it's for your appearance. I've got not only a producer of her own TV show, I have a model with us, and somebody who really inspires us to dress and feel the best that we can be to get out and go and meet the right people, huh? Thank you so much. I don't think I could top that introduction if I tried. <laughs> Tiffany, let me pronounce your last name right, Tiffany Dunyon. Correcto. Correcto. Woohoo! No. Tiffany Dunyon's here with us today, ladies and gentlemen, and I could not be more excited because what you're going to learn today is, hold on a second, I just <laughs> dropped my notes. You can wear this. You can wear this. That's the name of the show. So, Tiffany, let's talk. How are you? I am fabulous, especially now that I'm on your show. Your energy uh, precedes you. It's great. It's great. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm excited. We met a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. Maybe even a month already. Yeah. And we're associated with the TV stations here in the New England area. Yes, we are. <laughs> I resonated to you. Your energy was just oh, new glow. Oh, thank you, as do you. So we had to get together. <gasps> we're uh, glowing. Yeah, and yeah. glow together. Isn't that yes. amazing? Before the show started, you were sharing with me some of your wonderful highlights that have started to happen in your oh. life. Why don't you share with us exactly what's going on in your exciting life? Oh, gosh. It's amazing how things work out. I am a voice teacher, so I sing. I work with kids as well as adults, seniors, special needs, and voice lessons, and that's Do growing. Do you tutor? Is that private? Private voice lessons. Wow. I love that. So that's always been one of my passions. I will always have to teach until the day I die. I just love it. Um, other thing that I, I do that I love and hold near and dear to my heart is wardrobe consulting. I do this for women specifically and I love helping bring out women's authentic selves mm. and express that through the clothing they're wearing. It either exemplifies you and helps you glow and shine or it hides you. You have to wear something. So Yeah, so are you, <laughs> le are you a personal professional shopper? Would you go with somebody? Oh, I'm gonna give you a for instance. Okay. I don't like shopping. A matter of fact, if you really want to know the truth, I'm like a shopper stalker. <laughs> so if I came into the store and I saw you and I loved how you looked, you would definitely be somebody who I would stalk. You would quietly shadow. I would quietly <laughs> shadow. When you picked up something, I went to the same rack and picked it up in my size. I see. I see. So it sounds like you could use some direction on uh, what would look good on yes. you so that you don't have to stalk other people. That would help. What if they had a different body type? Well, exactly. But yeah. if I like your style and I'm like, wow, I like what she's wearing. I love what she's wearing. <laughs> I don't think I would have ever found that on my own. Well, now I consider you like one of my taste buddies, right? We're wearing the same thing. So as you're shopping... You'll probably end up in the dressing room sometime. <laughs> That's right. That's we go right. To, you have no idea, but I go to the sh I go too. <laughs> and then I thank you at the register. There you go. So, yeah, I do introduce myself eventually oh. to you. But yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. I honestly yeah. have not heard of that, but it makes it makes sense. That's yeah. we have to have role models somehow for fashion and style and that's what I try to be for women and help them understand what best looks good on them, what their mm -hmm. body type is, coloring and we can go through closets together, see what works, what doesn't. I can go shopping, create a list of tailored do's and don'ts right. for each individual woman. So when they go shopping, they're not lost or not overwhelmed. And we can make a list of what they really need to help what works in their closet yeah. go even farther and what they need new to keep up to date. What about if they're on a very tight budget? Do you I can, work with them? Oh, yes, I can do a lot with very little. You could do a lot with very little. Mm -hmm. Give us give us a tip because here's what I want everybody to, to do, okay? We get very active on the show. Good. And I want the person that's sitting on the couch right now to say, you know what? 
I need to go and I really want to feel better about myself. I'm on such a tight budget. I have children or I have whatever it is. Where can they go? Well, what would you recommend to them? Where do they start saying, really? I could go there and they would have something for me? Mm -hmm. First, I would like to start out with the concept that less is more. I like minimalism to begin with for closets. If you love clothes, go nuts on top of that. But we can all start in terms of minimalism. It's better to have a few items that mix and match well and play nicely with everything in your closet than a hundred of some things that you can only make one outfit out of. So think in those terms, which means when you go shopping, you can then, I encourage women, go to a store that you think is even perhaps too expensive for you in terms of its quality, look on the sale rack. Start trying things on and get used to that because you don't need to buy 10 or 15 things. You need a few key pieces and you want them to last a long time. So even if you spend a little bit more on this item, you're buying less items, which means your cost per wear is going to last longer because the item will last longer. Buy less, buy at higher quality. Buy less, buy high, higher, higher, higher quality, sales uh, rack. Sale rack. Try that. Wow. I love that. And you so right. What do they call clothes? There, there's a name for it. I know they're the fashion industry. There's a clothes. There, there's a name for clothes that you would get that are less quality. They're called, do you know what they're called? Like, tra like wear I, it I and trash them, it. I call you know, throwaway clothes. You know, throwaway clothes. clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to reveal any brands. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't, we don't want to offend no, anybody. No, not at all. Because there's a time and a place and a purpose for all types of clothing right. under the sun. So, How do you feel about consignment stores? You know, when I went to Las Vegas for the Magic Fashion Show this August, one of the first, well, not one of the first things, but one of the first things we did after the Magic Fashion Show is we went to Goodwill in oh. Las Vegas. Because in Las Vegas, there is fabulous shopping. Mm. Who knew? More fabulous than what I ever envisioned. And this is, this is they have my vice. They have yeah. shopping for me. <laughs> they have designers. They have everything, everything, wow. all budgets. And eventually, it filters into the Goodwill. Mm. So... If you have time, and you have the time to spend sifting through things and trying it on, I found an authentic Italian black leather blazer for $9. What? I found an awesome looking, um, uh, we'll call it a co cocktail dress. Really nice, would have retailed for two or $300 for 15 bucks. Hmm? So I, I have goosebumps because you now can anybody <laughs> could go shopping as long as they go and they have time to... You have time, and you have to understand it's going to be wild card pieces that you find. I did not go looking for a black leather blazer or a cocktail dress, right. <laughs> but that's what I found. So you just have to be open to the experience of what you can find, because there's only going to be more than likely one of it right. sitting there. Oh, that's true, too. It is a consignment mm -hmm. store. It's consignment. It's a hit, mix, and match. It is. So it's kind of the, it's just leave it up to the universe and see what comes to you kind of thing, right. and those can be your great wild card pieces. And that's how I love to shop consignment. That is, hell, cheers. 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 <laughs> there you go. If you're on a tight budget, that's definitely, oh, that was a golden tip right there, right? It is. So you can do that. Look for wild card pieces there. That's what I do. Wild card pieces. I love that. Mm -hmm. What drives you? What makes my heart sing? What makes your heart sing? Singing, teaching voice, clothing, art, making art. My, my tagline is make every day a work of art for wardrobe consulting. For wow. singing, it's inspiring students to do what makes their heart sing. Mm. So we're all cut out to do something that makes our heart sing. And listening to that tiny little voice inside of you, that internal GPS, that's what gets you started. And then, and then you listen and you indulge it. And then that voice gets stronger and you tap more into it. Uh -huh. And like you said in our dialogue before the show started, you never know whose energy you're going to run into right. and where it's going to carry you. Mm. So listen and adhere to that little voice. You never know what's going to blossom. I would have never thought I would do modeling. That's one of the things I do. Or TV. Right. <laughs> I would have never thought it. Huh. And I fell in front of a camera, and I keep, I've keep i kept falling in front of cameras, and here I am today. So. And here you are today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, because you're in the right place at the right time, networking, obviously in the right mm -hmm. space with like-minded people that you felt, correct me if I'm wrong. You are correct that had more of a stronger influence that you, you didn't even know what you were gravitating towards. You just knew you didn't want to stay with the people that were at your same level or below. You wanted to make sure that you were networking up. 
Right, and that resonates. When you have that desire and that joy inside of you, there's going to be somebody else that eventually resonates with that and can see that yeah. intuitively, and you're brought together, and what makes your heart sing? You're extremely busy. I could, I can be, yes. Right? Yes. We spoke about, number one, how to balance your time, and number mm -hmm. two, when to know how to take a break. Right. Share with us your method because a lot of people are just so <laughs> struggling. First of all, finding themselves. Right. Figure out, trying to figure out what is it that I want to be in life. I have to start over. So here you are. You channel yourself. How do you find your networking events? Very intuitively. So if I need to rest, I will rest because you want that energy available to you when you feel the stars are aligning. Yeah. And you feel like, you know what, I think I should go to this event. You want your energy in place for that. Right. So it's about quality, not quantity. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased with myself if I can go to a networking event and make one solid contact. It doesn't take a whole universe of people. It takes mm -hmm. the right ones. So working smart versus working hard because yep. you don't want to deplete your energy. And we all still struggle with balance. I know I do. There's times sure. when things ramp up. And then I'm like, I could sure use a day off. And I'm not getting my day off. So. Right. It reminds me when I get too busy, okay, put myself on my calendar. This is Tiffany's block. We're not scheduling anything in Tiffany's oh, block. So you really mm -hmm. put that into your schedule. I've discovered that I have to do that. And as you find yourself and how many different joys and loves that you have, mm -hmm. as those converge in the week, you have to make sure there's enough of you to go around and put yourself on your schedule. I've learned that from wow. other put very wise women. Put yourself on your schedule. Yes. <laughs> that's that's. Fantastic. You have to. <laughs> you have to. You're mm -hmm. married? Yes. And any children? Uh, my husband and I are the children, and my businesses are my babies. Hello. There we go. Uh -huh. And you, ha how long are you married? Nine and almost a half, nine, almost nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. Mm -hmm. That is a success story in itself <laughs> in today's world, isn't it? Yes, it is. It yes, is. It is. Teach, there, there, are, there are couples out there that struggle. And I don't want them struggling. I want them to figure out balance, personal, business, taking the time out for you, just like you said. Yes. Share with me, nine and a half years, you're doing something right. <laughs> That's powerful. And not that life is easy, because it's not. It's not. It's not. Every couple struggles, no matter what the yep. veneer is on the surface. What, what's your key? What's your tip? You're successful in business. You're successful in understanding how to take time out for Tiffany. And now how to take time out for your family and your marriage. For marriage. So you put that on the calendar too. And you, you have to learn how to you have to learn how to put that on the calendar. Date night has to go on the calendar. It doesn't get done. And that's true whether you have a lot of different pursuits or not. Yeah. That's that's advice I've heard for many, many years. It's especially true if your schedule is full as an entrepreneur or empowered woman, which I hope every one of you Amen. empowered women. But it's, it's definitely important to keep communicating, no matter even if you feel like you're not on the same plane. It's called growing pains. So as you grow, the marriage is inevitably going to grow, and it's going to precipitate that opportunity. And there may be a lag in growth for your partner, or you may, they may keep up great, but keep cultivating and keep on keeping on and just understanding that there's a love underneath all of those growing pains that are going on and all of the surface stuff. Right. What Do you have date night every week? You know, uh, just about. We, we try to get something in. My husband loves to hike. So oh, going hiking. Too. We love archery and uh, well, hunting, actually. <gasps> so. Yes, I know. Archery. We can keep that at archery. We're going, we're going archery. We we're are going doing archery. archery together. We have to. Empowering. They say women are actually built better for it, Yeah. believe it or not. And it's, it's very cathartic to shoot at targets. I mean, you, it's... In terms of like photography, I've heard people say, or rifle shooting, if you will, target shooting, you release the trigger on an exhale. So it requires discipline right. and to be present. If you hold tension, you're going to torque the bow or your projectile mm. one of two ways, and it's going to throw your shot. So in a sense, it forces you to be calm and be present with that discipline. Wow. It helps. That was powerful. You know, one of my grandchildren have started karate, and I and I'm sh I know, and I'm <laughs> sharing this because you just said something very powerful. It keeps you present, it keeps you in the now, and mm -hmm. it, it you have to concentrate on that, but it it fulfills you. My granddaughter just started taekwondo. 
and I'm watching her and how in tune she is because she's loving it. She's thriving it. When we spoke and then we met for coffee, what a fabulous place that was. That oh, it was great. Coffee. Wasn't was that great? Great energy, great food, <sighs> great camaraderie. Mm. Inspired. I agree. Showed it well, in. I appreciate that. <laughs> and right back at you. But when, we, when you start, and I said to you, what else do you love to do? What do you love, how do you love to play? And when you spoke about archery, I felt like the little girl came back inside <laughs> me. Didn't I glow? I was like, You what? did. It's all about what makes your inner five-year-old come out. I forgot. Seriously. <laughs> I totally forgot how much I thrived and enjoyed archery to the point mm -hmm. where I said, we have to go. We have to go. You have to get me back into this because... It's so much fun <laughs> bringing out the childlike in us because that's what we enjoyed. So there's another about. tip for everybody. You are what you wear. You are who you are. And inside, as long as you keep the childlike, you want to play a game with me? You want to go into I the do. treasure chest? I do. I do. I'm going to give you a treasure from my treasure <laughs> chest because I love to bring pay people back to their childlike state. Oh, I get to visit my childlike state you throughout do. the week. I make sure it comes out. Oh, well, here we go. So, one of the things, do you, have you, do you still, maybe, when you go to the doctor, whether it was the dentist, did you ever get to go shopping in the treasure chest after the visit? Yes, that was the best part. You didn't mind going for the shop because you knew there was a treasure chest coming? Mm -hmm. I have a treasure chest. Oh, this wasn't even painful. I know, it wasn't even painful. I know, right? <laughs> so... I want you to pick something. Look at this. I have a treasure chest full of just good, fun toys because I love to bring us back. Please engage. Musical <gasps> instrument because I love voice. Because she loves voice. So here's the deal. Okay. As you're driving home from the studio today, I want you to hold that, and I want you to pay attention to the road, but I want you to enjoy that all day long. I most certainly will. Isn't that cool? That is cool. It's cute. So for everybody, if you see me on the road, you need to stop the Happiness Jungle Mobile because the treasure chest follows with me. Just saying. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, it's, all, you. it's about remembering what you used to love to do and going back to doing it. Right. You know, one of the things that we do at thehappinessjungle.com is that's when I love to bring people back to their happiness. Not because it's hokey pokey, but because they can. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. 100%. When we call this show, you can wear this, it's because you could still wear your childlike personality. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with it at all. As long as you're shining and you're thriving and you're not trying to be immature about it, <laughs> you know, let's talk about that. Let's talk right. about the women that are hitting their golden years. And I'm going to talk in my age bracket. I'm in my 50s now, 55 to be exact. People say, I can't believe you keep telling people your age. It's like, <laughs> it's not, Google me and it's not going to be hard to find out, so I might as well share it with you. But sometimes we get to that state where we're at a store and we love something, and then I kind of second guess it because am I too old to wear that anymore? Yes. That's scary. And it's scary to be 55 with the mind that you think you're still 29. Oh, I think that's great. I, I it's swear, awesome. The, the older I get, the younger I become. Yeah. So I say dress for your vivacity. Ooh. And I think the key as you grow in your vivacity, notice right. I didn't say getting older. Yes. <laughs> Growing in your vivacity and wisdom. You want to dress, I think, more effortlessly so you don't have to try so hard. Even just wearing a white button-down shirt, great necklace, dark denim jean with a heel or fabulous flat, mm -hmm. and an earring, you're going to look effortless and you're going to look young because you're not trying so hard. So the key is you've taken, you have all this experience from life, and you've learned how to harness that inner child and allow her out. So accessorize with her. Let her come out and play with that. Huh. But don't feel like you have to be married to the junior section. Um, graduate, move with your life, but still maintain that vivacity. Right. i got to share something with you because it's always stuck in my mind, and I think that's why I'm so trapped. That, oh, my God, when people see me from the back, I want to make sure when they see the front, they go, okay, and they don't get scared. Here, i got to share this story with you because I'm also a biker. And in South Florida on the first Sunday of December, it's Toys for Tots run. Thousands and thousands of bikers get together. And then we cruise to a park, right? It oh, is, it's, it's a blessing. One year, there was this woman in front of me, 
and she had long blonde hair and she had a beautiful figure and she was riding a bike and she was in front of me. And all I kept on thinking is she must be absolutely stunning, just gorgeous, you know. I never saw her from front. We get to the park. We get off our bikes. When the, it's very uniform. You know, you pull in together. We get off our bikes. We take off our helmets. She turned around. So help me God, I, I got scared because she was a 90-year-old woman. Wow. Yeah, she was. And she, because I asked her and I said, oh, my gosh, you know, I think you're beautiful. I complimented her profusely because however she dressed is how she felt. Right. When she told me, first of all, she was 90 years old and she's still amazing. riding a motorcycle, Good for that her. was just a testimony in herself. I, I, now a woman has inspired me. Mm -hmm. But I guess my point of view is that when she finally turned around and I saw her face, I almost fell. My bike, I almost fell on my bike, which would have caused a, a literally a domino effect. An uproar. <laughs> and I, I, I felt bad for her because that's the response that people would have. Oh my God, look at that hot, beautiful woman or hot, beautiful man. Yeah. And then you get in front of them and we're like, wow, what just happened? It's, I don't want yeah. that to happen to me. I don't, that's not what I want. So even when I leave the house in the morning, I look at my children, my granddaughters and my daughter and my son and one, I'm like, okay, what do you think? And they're like, <laughs> go for it. It's important to me. Right. I don't want, you know, because the older I get, I still think like I'm 29, so I got to be very careful with that. Oh, that's great, though. Yeah. Great. I say the older I get, the younger I become. Yes. And that's in terms of my energy. In terms of dressing, um, for women that are becoming well into their vivacity, mm -hmm. let's call it, if softer hues, such as what you're wearing, yeah. lend beautifully to the face and will soften, as opposed to wearing black really close to the face. Ooh. Black can be very, very harsh. Let's talk about black, because mm -hmm. I did a video on black. I said, own it with color, and then somebody contacted me and said, but I love black. Touch on black. Black, it's okay to love black. You can wear black. Um, there's a caveat, though. Not all women can pull that off up close to their face really, really exquisitely. Some women can. It just depends on their coloring. So if you're one of the women, I believe it's four out of five women, can't necessarily right. <laughs> pull it off as beautifully as that one out of five women can. Wear it away from your face. Wear it in a handbag. If you are wearing black, wear something that um, allows your collarbone to show so your skin is reflecting up on your face. It'll soften the effect. Wear makeup mm -hmm. so that it, it doesn't drain the color from you. Do you have people with makeup? Are you also a makeup artist? I am not. I love makeup. And You're I, gorgeous. Oh, the way you. that you apply your makeup, it's very natural. Thank your you. hair is stunning. I'm jealous. I, I wish you. I could wear that. Oh, I have, I have wonderful makeup artists. Um, that do beautiful work and a wonderful hairstylist mm. as well. So it, it takes a village. You're knowing, knowing the right people to help you shine. You don't you wake shine. up like this? <laughs> <laughs> I should do a video yeah. on that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? It would. It would. I yeah. don't mind going places without makeup. I do it sometimes. Well, it just depends. yeah, to be you and to mm -hmm. be natural. If you could give one tip to our audience, what would that be? Do what makes your heart sing. Whatever that is, tune in inside. All your bliss and make every day a work of art. I know they're taglines, but it's actually inspired by things that have gotten me to the point I'm at, and it's just beginning, so wow. super fun. I'm excited. Go for it. You want to play a very quick, spontaneous game with me? I do. Okay. I do. So this is a spontaneous game where you get to pick one of our cards. One of our cards is going to have an action, and then I want you to apply that action into something that you are all about that's going to inspire our audience. Okay. And you have 10 seconds to share your answer. Isn't that funny? Okay. I know. Wow. You ready? I know. Mm, okay. Baby, you have no idea what's on these cards. Go for it. Pick a card, any card. This one. And turn it over. And it says? <laughs> knee jerk reaction. Go. Bam, I just hit the table with my knee. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you apply a knee-jerk reaction to something that you're doing if you're in a store? Knee-jerk reaction. I'd say that's a great opportunity to let your inner child come out. If you love something, go, <gasps> see what it elicits from other people's responses. And go for it. And go for it. And go for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how inspiring is Tiffany? 
Tiffany, Thank you. I want everybody to be able to stay in touch with you, to get in touch with you, whether it's for their voice, their inner or their outer. Thank can you. you share how they can get in touch with you? Yes, absolutely. I have a website. It's www.tiffanydunyon.com. I can also be reached by phone at 603-818-0112 or email tiffanydunyon at gmail.com. Wow. Are you also going to... Uh, do more archery. Uh, you should teach archery. I oh. hear that you're fabulous at it. Oh, thank you. I, I love it. I had, that's one thing I have not yet taught. Mm. But I'm still young yet, so. You just never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, thank you. You started another television uh, program, right, yes. that you're involved in. I'm involved. So I, I host and produce a show called Empower Style on Dairy Community Television, as well as Find Your Voice. It's tips and tricks for singers and speakers and all about the human voice for lay people. And Empower Style is about fashion and style for women and empowering women from the inside out as well. So it's super fun. <laughs> it is. Now, do you also have animals or it's just you and your husband? Oh, I have a cat. He's my <gasps> baby boy. His name is Milo. He's my Ooh. little lion man. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you obviously want to spend time with Milo too. Yes. He's and my baby. He's your, how long have you ha had Milo? He is probably, I guess, eight and a half years. So Ooh. eight and a half years. Wow. Yeah. Now, did you get him from a rescue organization? <laughs> I rescued him from our barn in Kansas. He was a kitten all by himself. Hello. And um, I fell in love with him and brought him inside. And said, honey, we get to keep him. There you go. <laughs> and I just wanted to touch on that because, and I know that some people say, well, what does that have to do with can, can you wear it? There are so many people out there, guys, you're lonely, and there are animals out there that they want to wear you like you want to wear them. And what mm -hmm. I mean by that is that there's something out there that wants to give you some love and some great energy, and these rescue organizations just might have that furry friend that you are desiring. They're older and they're younger, and I just felt very compelled on this show for some reason <laughs> to also share that go adopt a pet. If you feel lonely, if you feel anxious, the inner, you know, when, when you don't feel lonely anymore and you feel self-worth, it makes you want to go out and meet new people because you have value and you do have value. So that's one of the things that really inspire me. I don't know why I wanted to talk about animals, but you just never know with me. And I'd that's also great. like to give you this heart. Thank you. Ms. Tiffany. I love it. I give these out all over the world. They're for good energy, and you are constantly bringing good energy. Thank in you so to, much. Well, as are you. World. Wow. Thank you. Stiller. Guys, we are out of time. I cannot believe it. Thank you very, very much. And remember, you can wear it, and you can wear anything. So thank you for joining us at thehappinessjungle.com. See you later. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.